Hello children. So welcome to AIMS India's online classes. Today, from mathematics subject, decimal topic, decimals topic we are going to continue. So our, our today's concept is multiplication of decimal numbers. Multiplication of decimal numbers. So to multiply a decimal number by 10 or any power of 10, this uh, in multiplication first try, to in first try we are going to multiply a decimal number by 10 or any power of 10. So here, so for multiplying with 10 and uh, any power of 10, what we have to do is move the decimal point as many places to the right as there are zeros in the multiplier, as there are zeros in the multiplier. Means multiplying a decimal number by 10 power n, by 10 power n moves the decimal point n places to the right. So let us try to understand by the with the help of examples. Here we have 64.321. This is the decimal number. This decimal number we are multiplying with 10. We are multiplying with 10. Means in 10 how many zeros are there? We have only one zero. So decimal point. So we have only one zero. So decimal point what we have to do? We have to shift one place to the right one place to the right means 64 point is there this point will come after 3 like this one place to the right it will become 643.21 so move decimal point one place to the right so why we are moving only one place because in the multiplier means we are multiplying with 10 here 10 is called multiplier in multiplier only one zero is there so that's why we are moving one place to the right. Suppose in the second example, 4.035. Here you are multiplying the number with 100. So multiplier is here 100. In multiplier, you have two zeros. So point should move one, two places towards right. So it will become 403.5. So move the decimal point two places to the right. Or you have like this example, 0 0.0356 into 1000. You are multiplying with 1000. Multiplier is 1000 here. Three zeros it is having. So you have to move the point towards three places towards right. So 1, 2, 3. Means after 5, you have to keep the point. But before 3, we have two zeros because if we have zeros on the extreme left position in the numerical part, that zeros will not be having any value. We can remove them simply. So we can write it as 35.6. So here decimal point is moved to three places to the right. Okay, like that. In multiplier, how many zeros we are having? the decimal point will move same places towards right side, towards right side. This is the rule for multiplying a decimal number with 10 or any power of 10. Means if we have 10 power 1, we have to move only one place towards right. If we have, one minute. If the multiplier is 10 square, we have to move two places towards right. If the multiplier is 10 cube, three places towards right. If the multiplier is 10 power n, we have to move decimal point n places towards right. Okay. Next. Next method. Multiplication of a decimal number by a whole number or another decimal number either by a whole number or by a another decimal number. Okay. 
what we have to do means so multiply as if there were no decimal points at all first we have to assume there is no decimal point like normal multiplication we have to do the multiplication after that fix the position by the rule that there are as many decimal places in the product as there are in multiplier and multiplicand put together so after normal multiplication without decimal point in the multiplier how many decimal places are there in the multiplicand how many decimal places are there the two we have to add and we have to keep put together for the result in the multiplier if we have two decimal places in the multiplicand if we have three decimal places so then for the result we have to keep five decimal places for the product we have to keep five decimal places this is the rule of multiplication of decimal number with whole number or another decimal number let's see some examples so here 0.3 0.02 0.3 0.02 so actually 0.3 means so left side if we remove point it will become 03 it will become 03 left side 0 no value only it is 3 if we remove point it will become 002 left side zeros they don't have any value it will become only 2 means 3 into 2 how much 6 so we are multiplying only here 3 into 2 6 but here after point one decimal place is there here after point two decimal places are there in the product also in the product also three twos are only six we are getting in the product also we need three decimal places so we can keep two zeros here point one more zero so we can insert as many number of zeros as we want according to this decimal places so 0.006 so this is the answer so next 7 0.003 7 means it is okay but 0.003 means if there is no decimal point we have to assume it as only 3 so we have to multiply 7 and 3 7 and 3 how much 21 7 and 3 how much 21 but uh, multiplicand zero place is there multiplier three places are there in uh, product also we need three decimal places but only two we are having here one zero we can keep point zero point zero point zero two one with three decimal places we can write the answer next 5.78 into 3 5.78 into 3 here two places here zero places which places decimal places two decimal places zero decimal places let's multiply with 3 3 8 times 24 2 remaining 3 7 times 21 plus 3 2 23 2 23. remaining 3 5 times 15 plus 2 17 so after two decimal places we will keep a point because 2 plus 0 equal to 2 that's why 17.34 so 7.248 three places 0.19 two places how to multiply with 19 without decimal point first we will multiply with 9 9 eight times 72 9 eight times 72 7 remaining 9 4 times 36 plus 7 43 4 remaining 9 2 times 18 plus 4 22 2 two remaining 9 7 times 63 plus 2 65 1 1 8 1 4 1 2 1 7 1 7 1 with 0 no need to multiply we will add all 2 3 8 11 2 4 6 1 7 5 2 7 6 7 13 but here three places here two places 
2 put together how many places 5 places 1 2 3 4 5 after 5 places we have to keep a point so like that we can do multiplication of decimals next next 7.248 into 400 7.248 into 400 So, 7428 into 400. So, how to multiply with 400? First, we will multiply with 4. 28992 is coming. Next, how many zeros we are having in the multiplier? That many zeros we will keep at the end of the product. So, we have to multiply mentally first by 4, then by 100. Then by 100. After that, what is in the question? 7 point is there. After that, how many decimal places are there? Here 3, here 0. So, total how many? 3 plus 0, 3 decimal places. 1, 2, 3. After 3 decimal places, we have to keep a point. But, after decimal point, on the extreme right, if we have zeros, then they will be having no value. In the numerical part, Left side we have 0 means no value. But in the decimal part, right side zeros are there means they don't have any value. So we can remove two zeros. We can simply write 2899.2. 2899.2. Next example. 0 0.3506, 0 0.138. 4 places, 3 places. So what we have to do? So what you have to do first with the 8, with 8 we will multiply, next with 3, next with 1 we will multiply and we will add all 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We are getting only 6 places but 4 plus 3 how many places? 7 places. So by doing the product we are getting only 6 places. So 7th place we can keep a 0. We can keep a 0 and 4 plus 3. After 7 places, we can keep a point here. Point here, 0 point. Like this we can write. Means, because the product is 483828, it contains fewer digits than the required number of decimal places. That's why we add 1 0 on the left of the number. Left of the number, so that it will be having required number of decimal places like that we can do next one exercise children some problems we, we are having here so 8.37 into 10 with 10 if you multiply means 8.8.37 8 into 10 with the 10 if you multiply means what happens to it? It will move. The point will move towards right. 1, 0 we are having. So, it will move one place. 83.7. 83.7. Or next uh, see this one. So, what is the question here? 0 point. How many zeros? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 into how much sorry 5 7 8 into how much 1000 in 1000 we have three zeros so the point will move 1 2 3 so 0 0 0 0 point so point 0 0 7 8 but the zeros which are on the extreme left, they don't have any value. Only one zero we can take 0 0.0078. Like that we can write. Like that we can write. So if you observe this one, 0 0.1 
पानी जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन थ्री जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन थ्री इंटू टेन थाउजेंड इंटू टेन थाउजेंड हियर वी आर हैविंग फोर जीरो हियर वी आर हैविंग फोर जीरो सो द पॉइंट विल मूव फोर प्लेसेस मींस वन टू थ्री फोर मींस जीरो जीरो एट नाइन थ्री पॉइंट point after we can keep zero but left side zeros after left side zeros before decimal point right side zero after decimal point they don't have any values this zero this zero this zero we can strike off simply the answer is 893 like that we can multiply okay children remaining questions you do it as a homework next second roman second roman let's do fourth question 0. Point, 0. Point, 0.006 into 0. Point, 0.009 so suppose all without decimal point if we assume them as numerals here we are having 6 here we are having 9 so 6 9 times 54 so mentally we have to multiply 6 into 9 54 but here three decimal places here three decimal places in the product we need six decimal places so we can keep four zeros here 1 2 3 4 after six decimal places or before six decimal places we can keep a point and we can write zero point Like this, we can write. Or this eighth one, eighth one, eighth one. What is the question? Fifty-two, fifty-two point eight into zero point zero zero seven. Let's multiply with seven without points. Seven eight times fifty-six. Seven two times fourteen plus five nineteen. Seven five times thirty five plus one thirty six. Thirty six. But here one decimal place. Here three decimal places. So one two three four. Four. So we need four decimal places. So before point there is nothing. So we can keep zero. Zero point three six nine six. Like that we can write. Next third Roman. Let's take the cos this cosen. Third cosen. Zero point zero six. Sorry. Zero point six seven eight into eight sixty. Six seven eight into eight sixty. So if we have eight sixty. We have to multiply six seven eight and two and eighty six. Then we have to keep one zero. So what we can do first with six, six eight times forty eight, six seven times forty two plus four forty six, six six times thirty six plus four forty. Next with eight 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 zero sixty four, eight seven zero fifty six plus six sixty two, sixty two six. Eight six zero forty eight plus six. Eight six zero forty eight plus six fifty four. Fifty four. Let's add all. So here eight six plus four ten. Two plus one three. Four plus four eight. So five. Five. But here in the multiplier we are having one zero. That zero we can keep here after multiplication. After multiplication, we can keep here. So what we got? Five, eight, three, zero, eight, zero. We have got how many decimal places? Three decimal places. So one, two, three. After three decimal places, we can keep a point. So like that, we can multiply. Next, multiple choice questions. MCQ. Two thirteen into sixteen equal to three four zero eight. 
then what is 1.6 into 2.13? One decimal place, two decimal places. So in the answer, we should have point after, we should have three decimal places. So here four decimal places wrong, two wrong, one wrong, three decimal places. C option is the correct answer. So one inch, 2.54 centimeter. How many centimeters is? 100 inches. Means 2.54, 2.54 into 100. 2.54 into 100. Because two zeros are there, point will move one, two places. Means 254. After that point we have to keep, but there is no number after that. So that's why no need to keep. 254 is the answer. C option. Next, hot question children. 3 into 0 0.3, 0 0.003, 0 0.003 into 3000 equals. No need to confuse children. Without decimal point, here we have 3, 3, 3, 3, 3. This zeros also, no need to count. First, let's uh, multiply only this. Let's multiply only this. 3, 3 times 9, 9, 3 times 27, 27, 3 times 81, 81, 3 times 243. Let's multiply only the numerals, not, uh, not this uh, zeros before decimal point or after the numeral, whatever zeros are there, let's not bother about them. Let's multiply 3, 3 times 9, 9, 3 times 27. 27 3 times 81, 81 3 times 243, 243 we are getting. But in this numeral, we have three zeros after this number. So in the product, we have to keep three zeros, 243, triple zero, 2 lakhs 43,000. Now decimal places we have to count. Here 1, here 2, here 3, means 1 plus 2 plus 3, 6 means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. After 6 places, we have to keep a decimal point, 0 point, 0 point, 2, 4, 3, 3, 0, 0. But this uh, decimal point, right side zeros, they don't have any value. So 0 point, 2, 4, 3, 0 point, 2, 4, 3. D option is the right answer. Next, 0 point, 0 5 into 5. 0 0.005 into 5 equals. So 5, 5 times how much? 25. Here are two decimal places. Here no. Means after two decimal places, point. So this value is 0 0.25 minus. Here also how much? 5, 5 times? 25. 25. But here what? Three decimal places. But here we are having only two places. Three means we can keep one zero point. After three decimal places, point. So we can keep zero here. 0 0.025. Means 0 0.25, 0 0.025. So we can keep one zero here. Zero, 0 minus 5, we cannot do minus, we can take one borrow. 10 minus 5, 5. Here 4 will be there. 4 minus 2, 2. 2 minus 0, 2. Point downside, point. So 0 0.225. So B option. 0 0.225 is the right answer. <coughs> okay, children. Uh, that's all for today. Division part we can learn later. Division part we have we can learn later. Today we learned about multiplication of decimal numbers. So thank you for watching our video. Please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for receiving latest updates. Thank you children. Have a good day.